So this is version two of this made with the four envelopes and the three signatures because as you can see on this spine it looks raggedy I mean that's fine but it's also starting to tear already which I don't like so you're going to need four envelopes um, these are six by nine I've already got them prepared over here by gluing these down and written on to kind of help us follow along, help me follow along. But I glued all these down here so that it's easier to put together and it gives it a little more strength. And a fake signature to show you how it's going to work. So we have four envelopes. Three of the envelopes are going to fold all the flaps back. And on the last envelope, which will be the back cover, you'll leave it as it is. But you'll leave it with this up like so. And you see, insert into three F. So we're going to take one of these with the envelope flat back. And we're going to slide this into this envelope here. And we're, at the same time, we're going to slide this flap into here. So remember, this is your back cover, and this is one of the covers with the fl flap folded backwards. So when you're done, this is what it'll look like. And then you're going to take another one that's got the envelope folded back with the flap folded backwards, and you're going to insert that into this one here. And then fold this over. And then finally, the front cover with the flat folded back will be pushed and slid into here like so. So you have your four envelopes, one, two, three, four, front cover, back cover, and you actually have three separate spines. So that when you go in, after you've decorated or whatever that you're going to do with it, you can take your envelope or your signature and slide it into this first section and it will be um, sewn into here. I use a pamphlet stitch. And your second signature will go between two and three. And it will be sewn into the middle spine. And your third signature will go into here. And it will be into this final spine. So they'll all be separate spines, but they'll all be tied together by the envelopes. Okay, something I would suggest doing is if you're going to distress and distress your edges, go ahead and do that now. But for this, I'm just going to show you how to put this together now that, you know, we have the general idea of how it's going to be once it's done. So we're going to take all these back out so I don't get lost and confused again. Move this out of the way because we don't want glue everywhere. And we're going to take 4F, which is the one that with the flap is the same way. And we're going to take 3F with the flap folded backwards. And we're going to, what I do is I will put this in here first. into like so and then I take my art glitter glue with the fancy little needle nozzle and I put it in here on the flap Because I'm not going to make pockets into these, into the, this section here. And we're going to rub that in, smooth it down, use your bone folder, wipe off excess. And make sure it's all the way in there.
then we're going to take this one and we're going to rub this on here. And I think I put it in too far, but that's okay. We'll lift this up. Tuck it in there somehow. Like so. Make sure everything's even. And use my bone folder to secure it. Like so. So we have this with excess glue there. Okay, so that's what we have here. Then we're going to take number two and we're going to glue the flap. Remember the part that's folded back. And we're going to slide it into here. Not too far. Fold over, make sure it's straight. This is how I do it. I mean, you guys have your own methods that work for you. This is what works for me to keep it straight and even. So now we have three sections. And one more time. Take the front cover and we're going to glue. this open, slide this into here before the glue dries, and there you go, wipe off excess glue. And there you go. Now you have your four envelope mini journal here with your three spines so you don't end up with that single spine looking a hot mess. With your three spines. I mean if you want to you could glue these but I would suggest waiting until after you're done decorating and decide what you want to do because you'll have those three um, strings for lack of a better word along here if you want to you could probably weave a pattern into there or braid a pattern into there or take something like this and go that do the under over with beads in between just to decorate the spine if you want to you know it's your flip your it's your design it's your look it's your creativity do what you want but that's as easy it is as it is for the bare bones of the four envelope three signature mini junk journal you have any questions ask away thanks guys or ladies.